Hey Lightweights, today I'm going to be reacting to The Dark Knight. So this is my first time watching The Dark Knight, uh, but as a the same preface that I gave before um, Batman Begins, I do have experience with Batman and with Batman lore. I've obviously never seen this trilogy, uh, but I have watched the animated series. I have played through all of the Arkham and the Origins game, so I'm not unfamiliar with the characters. Uh, so if I do seem knowledgeable, that's probably why, uh, but I do think it brings a unique perspective because I have knowledge on other Batman stories uh, that I can kind of bring into this, but also I feel like they're not always the same. <laughs> so I'm definitely excited to see Nolan's take on Batman in the Dark Knight. I do know that this has the Joker in it, uh, and I have heard through the grapevine that it is one of the best depictions of the Joker, according to the internet, <laughs> which must be true. So I'm definitely Super excited to see that as well. I loved Batman Begins, so I'm really excited to finally be doing this with you all. Um, this is, like I said, my first time watching it, so we will react to it and I'll give my thoughts on the end like I always do. If you're new here, please make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that bell button when you do, so that you know when I post future reactions. And here we go. Oh, that was cool. <laughs> I was like, what am I looking at? He thinks he can sit it out and still take a slice. I know why they call him the Joker. So why do they call him the Joker? I heard he wears makeup. All right, everybody, hands up, heads down! Here comes the silent alarm, and there it goes. Is it a problem? No, I'm done here. What? <laughs> what is going on with these backstabbers? Oh my god, he's making them oh Obviously we don't want you doing anything. He's making them hold grenades. Oh my god. What the <laughs> What in the vigilante justice? Dude, it's not your money. Just give it to them. It's not worth it. You have any idea who you're stealing from? You and your friends are dead! It's not worth it. That is not your money in the bank. They wired this thing up with like 5,000 volts. What kind of bank does that? A mob bank. Where's the alarm guy? The boss told me when the guy was done, I should take him out. One less share, right? Funny, he told me something similar. Oh my God. Also the fact that it's a mob bank, I understand that vigilante justice now, because if you're working for the mob, you're probably gonna be killed if you don't defend it anyways, right? <laughs> I'm betting the Joker told you to kill me as soon as we loaded the cash. No, 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 no. I killed a bus driver. What bus driver? <laughs> School's out. Time to go. What happened to the rest of the guys? Oh. Look at you. What do you believe in, huh? What do you oh my god. In? I believe whatever doesn't kill you simply it's the makes Joker. you. Stranger. I was thinking his mannerisms looked familiar from like clips that I've seen online. And then at the end, his hair started to look green, but it definitely did look green at first. So that was really cool how they subtly like started to show you that it was him. Damn, that was like perfectly executed. Mayor says you're closing in on the Batman. Investigation is ongoing. The process of cleaning up the streets is a long one. I <laughs> Guys, I have goosebumps. <laughs> the music, it just gets me every time. You're gonna go out on a limb here and say that's the mob that owned the bank. Look with your drugs, stay to my customers. Buyer beware. I told you my compound would take you places. I never said there'd be places you wanted to go. My business. How is he? Definitely not Batman. <laughs> That's not him.
I love how he knew that it wasn't Batman because of the guns. The driver's like, fuck it, I'm out of here! <laughs> Intentionally kill people. Some of the marked bills I gave you. My detectives have been making drug buys with them for weeks. We found the bulk of their dirty cash. Time to move in. What about this Joker guy? One man or the entire mob. He can wait. <laughs> He's like, why do I even bother? <laughs> Oh, that's nifty. That ceiling would give me a migraine. The things have been proved. Look at the new district attorney. Need to know if he can be trusted. Are you interested in his character or his uh, social circle? Who Rachel spends her time with is her business. What happened to Rachel? <laughs> Rachel, you've changed. Batman has no limits. Well, you do, sir. Well, can't afford to know him. And what's going to happen on the day that you find out? We all know how much you like to say, I told you so. So him and Rachel aren't a couple then? Even I won't want to. Probably. I thought the last movie kind of ended with them, like, becoming an item. Harvey, I know these briefs backwards. Well, the fair's fair. Heads, I'll take it. Tells he's all yours. Yeah. I wouldn't leave something like that up to chance. I don't. So does he turn into Two Face in this movie or the next movie? Moroni? He's a fall guy. I'm the brains of the organization. Hostile? I show you hostile. If you want to kill a public servant, Mr. Moroni, I recommend you buy American. But Your Honor, I'm not done. <laughs> he kind of did a good job of showing like a little crazy in his eyes. Come on, Harvey, you're Gotham's DA. You're not getting shot at. You're not doing your job right. But, you know, if you said you were rattled, we could take the rest of the day off. Oh, Jim Gordon? He's a friend, actually. Try to be nice. Why are her and Bath not together? Um, I need an interlude movie. <laughs> I want to meet him. Official policy is to arrest the vigilante known as Batman on site. Mm -hmm. And what about that floodlight on the top of MCU? If you've got problems with malfunctioning equipment, I suggest you take them up with maintenance counselor. <laughs> Gordon, I don't like that you've got your own special unit. And I don't like that it's full of cops I investigated at Internal Affairs. Well, if I didn't work with cops, you'd investigate it while you were making your name at IA, I'd be working alone. You want me to back warrants for search and seizure on five banks without telling me what we're after? I'll get you your warrants, but I want your trust. Well, you don't have to sell me that. We all know you're Gotham's white knight. I'm just gonna make a dark knight joke there. Light knight, dark knight. I speak for the rest of the board and Mr. Wayne in expressing our own excitement. <laughs> the numbers are solid. Do them again. This joint venture was your idea. The consultants love it. But I'm not convinced. His revenue stream must be off the books. Maybe even illegal. Okay, cancel the deal. Just needed a closer look at their books. Took me three weeks to get a reservation here. Fancy that. Yeah, Bruce. Fancy that. Yeah. So let's put a couple tables together. I own the place. <laughs> of course he does. When their enemies were at the gates, the Romans would suspend democracy and appoint one man to protect the city. Harvey, the last man that they appointed to protect the Republic was named Caesar, and he never gave up his power. You either die a hero, or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. Oh my god, I fucking love that line. Batman is looking for someone to take up his mantle. Someone like you, Mr. Dent? What the hell is this? Oh. As you're all aware, one of our deposits was stolen. A relatively small amount. 68 million. Thanks to Mr. Maroney's well-placed sources, we know that police have indeed identified our banks using marked bills. Moving all deposits to one secure location. Not a bank, 
Where then? No one can know but me. What stopped them getting to you? I go to Hong Kong, far from dense jurisdiction. And the Chinese will not extradite one of their own. Putting a lot of trust into one guy. Rest assured, your money is safe. Uh, and I thought my jokes were bad. How about a magic trick? I'm gonna make this pencil disappear. It's gone. The urge to make another John Wick joke is just so strong. Anytime there's a pencil. I know why you choose to have your little <clears throat> group therapy sessions in broad daylight. The Batman. It's simple. We uh, kill the Batman. <laughs> If you're good at something, never do it for free. How much you want? Uh, half. You're crazy. I'm not. No, I'm not. Oh, you know he's been told that his whole life he took that real personal. No, I'm not. Let's not blow this out of proportion. 500 grand for this clown dead. A million alive so I can teach him some manners first. All that was left in the vaults were mock bills. As soon as your office got involved... My office? You're sitting down there with scum like Wurtz and Ramirez and you're talking... Don't try and cloud the fact that clearly Maroney's got people in your office, Dent. If I get him to you, can you get him to talk? I'll get him to sing. I'm sure that you've always wanted to go to Hong Kong. What's wrong with a phone call? And what about getting back into the plane? I'd recommend a good travel agent. Without a landing. <laughs> How are you supposed to do that? The CIA had a program back in the 60s for getting their people out of hot spots called Skyhook. What? You'll be lighter, faster, more agile. Oh. Perhaps you should read the instructions first. <laughs> what about the flight crew? South Korean smugglers. They run flights into Pyongyang below radar the whole way. Did you think of an alibi? Oh, yes. You'll be all right without me? You can tell me to rush in for apply your own bloody sunshine lotion. I don't know if I trust that plane. <laughs> Yo, Gamble, somebody here for you. They say they've just killed the Joker. There are so many people in this movie that I recognize, but I don't know who they are or where I know them from. You dead? That's 500. How about alive? You want to know how I got these scars? My father was a drinker. Mommy gets the kitchen knife to defend herself. He doesn't like that. He turns to me and he says, Why so serious? Why so serious? I don't want to see that! Blade in my mouth. Let's put a smile on that face. I just want to cover my eyes, but I know that I can't. <laughs> Why so serious? So which of you fine gentlemen would like to join our team? So we're gonna have tryouts. For security purposes, I'm gonna have to ask you to check in your mobile. Of course. I must apologize for leaving Gotham in the middle of our negotiations. A businessman of your stature will understand. But a real we do not allow cell phones in here. I'm sorry. I forgot I had it. Our business deal has to be put on hold. I'm sure a businessman of your stature will understand. <laughs> He's like, oh shit! <laughs> He's like, we're gonna just pretend that didn't happen so I don't lose my job. It's just, I had R&D work it up. Sends out a high frequency pulse, requires a response time for mapping an environment. Oh, like echolocation. Sonar. Just like a uh, submarine, Mr. Wayne. Like bat? a submarine. Wait, is that not how bats do it? Shit. <laughs> now I'm questioning things. You gotta have some freaking guts to do this shit, man. Wings fluttering. I am a beautiful butterfly. <laughs> Sorry, it's not happening. <clears throat> oh, no! What's wrong with Danny? What the? <laughs> and then it's like. 
like a, a hook actually gonna hook it? Oh. Wait, are those real? I feel like I've seen that before, but now I'm wondering if I've seen like a clip like this before. Rico. If they pooled their money, we can charge them all as one criminal conspiracy. You sure you want to embarrass me in front of my friends, Lieutenant? No, don't worry. They're coming to me. Oh, shit! 246 counts of fraud, 87 counts of conspiracy murder, 527 counts of obstruction of... What did that mean? What do the defendants plead? The public likes you. That's the only reason that this might fly. But that means it's on you. They're all going to come after you now. Anyone whose wallet's about to get lighter. Are you up to it? Is your wallet about to get lighter? Anything on you. And those criminals are back on the streets, followed swiftly by you and me. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> I don't think I outwardly flinched, but my heart just stopped. <laughs> just stop beating. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Will the real Batman please stand up? Be aware. The image is disturbing. Tell them your name. Brian. Damn it, Brian! He told you not to do that again. <laughs> He's a symbol. We don't yeah. have to be afraid of scum like you. Yeah. You do, Brian. You really do. Look at me. Look at me! Holy shit. Goosebumps. Batman must take off his mask and turn himself in. Oh, and every day he doesn't, people will die. I love how it's really a trigger for him, like, when people don't respect him. Like, when the one guy called him crazy, he's like, I'm not. And then just then he was like, look at me, because Brian was looking at him. And when Brian still didn't look at him. You, you've known her her whole life. Oh, not yet, sir. <laughs> Any psychotic ex-boyfriends I should be aware of? Oh, you have no idea. <laughs> so they tried to date and they broke up. Is that what that's kind of alluding to? He's always got to keep up that charade. He's really good at it. You know, when Rachel first told me that she was dating Harvey Dent, I had one thing to say. The guy from those god-awful campaign commercials, I believe in Harvey Dent. And you know what? I believe in Harvey Dent. This is the face of Gotham's bright future to Harvey Dent. Well said, Mr. Wayne. Well said. You know that day that you once told me about when Gotham would no longer need Batman? It's coming. Harvey is that hero. Gotham needs a hero with a face. That Joker card pinned to the body? Forensics found three sets of DNA. The DNA belongs to Judge Cirillo, Harvey Dent, and Commissioner Loeb. Uh, the Joker's telling us who he's targeting. Sorry, sir, we believe the Joker's made a threat against your life. And we don't know where you're going. Do we trust these people? Like, are they actually with the cops? How do we know? I found the uh, appropriate response to these situations a long time ago. Dude, I'm so stressed out. <laughs> Be serious, though. Okay. Don't let the Joker hear you say that. I don't have an answer. Did he just propose in the middle of this party? Your glass. Wait, wait, wait! Well, I guess no answer is no. Just tell me it's not Wayne. The guy's a complete. What are you doing? Oh my fucking god! Oh my god. Just come for him. He did the Batman voice. He wasn't in Batman costume. Stay in. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Hands up, pretty boy. That's Mr. Pretty Boy to you. Do you know where I can find? I need to talk to him about something. Just something little, huh? What's going on out there? What? In his bed? Oh, thank God you've got a panic room. I can't wait. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. That's what you get for having sex in his bed. The audacity. 
You know, you remind me of my father. Okay, stop. Okay, Rachel. Well, hello, beautiful. <laughs> well, you look nervous. Is it the scars? You want to know how I got them? So I had a wife. Who tells me I ought to smile more? I just want to see her smile again. So, I stick a razor in my mouth and do this. Now I'm always smiling. <coughs> okay. A little fight now. I like that. Then you're gonna love me. No. <laughs> Drop the gun. Oh, sure. You just take off your little mask and show us all who you really are. Let her go. Very poor choice of words. <laughs> trash <laughs> need you alive long enough to get you on the record you can't protect me you can't even protect yourselves with respect master wayne perhaps this is a man you don't fully understand either some men aren't looking for anything logical some men just want to watch the world burn richard dent Patrick Harvey. Harvey Dent. That's Brooke underneath. Gonna take ballistics off a shattered bullet? No. Fingerprints. Because we found his next target. He's put it in tomorrow's paper. They're trying to compare bullet holes to see what bullet it is? What can I do for you, Mr. Reese? You wanted me to do the diligence on the LSI Holdings deal again? Applied Sciences, whole division of Wayne Enterprises just disappeared overnight. Too diligent, sir. Too diligent. I want $10 million a year for the rest of my life. You think that your client is secretly a vigilante and your plan is to blackmail this person? <laughs> Not a great plan. If you think about it a little more closely. Good luck. <laughs> Poor guy, because he's not wrong. He shouldn't have blackmailed, but he wasn't wrong. Did you reassign R&D? Yeah. And Lucia's son playing this one pretty close to the chest. Why did that sound sketchy? Kill the mayor. Dude, the ball's on this guy. He knows he's got a hit out. He's just walking in the parade like nothing's wrong. Well, the funeral parade. Is it a parade if it's for a funeral? Overlooking the parade. Okay, there we go. It is. Melvin White, 1502 Randolph Apartments. My video game skills have taught me anything. You gotta look for the, the flash light first from the reflection of the scope. <laughs> it took our guns. Uh, uniforms. Oh my god. I know I keep talking about the music, but the stress that this music is like making grow is just ah! Honor, guard, attach. Oh my god, they're gonna shoot while that shoot. It was weird seeing him without his makeup on. Wait. Wait. Tell me what you know about the Joker. <laughs> Guys, what happened to Gordon? Oh my god. I'm sorry, Barbara. <laughs> no, 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 no. You 
I didn't see that coming. <laughs> God, is there someone? Is there anyone in this town we can trust? Bruce? We can trust Bruce Wayne. No, Rachel, come on. I know you're his Harvey, friend, but... trust me. From this height, the fall wouldn't kill me. I'm counting on it. Huh. Oh, my... <laughs> I don't know where he is. He found us. The Joker, he's got no rules. Nobody's gonna cross him for you. Just take off that mask. Let him come find you. <laughs> How's that feel? You wouldn't. I wouldn't! That's why I'm not gonna leave it up to me. Oh, shit. Ed, you gotta keep your head. Tails. Does he get his face burned in this? Not so lucky. Let's go again. I don't know anything! I don't! You'd leave a man's life to chance? Not exactly. You're the symbol of hope. I could never be. If anyone saw this, everything would be undone. You're gonna hold a press conference tomorrow morning. Why? No one else will die because of me. You can't give in. You can't give in! He does a really good job of acting like he's just hiding the crazy under the surface. I don't know how he does it, but the eyes, it's... He's just like on the edge of insanity, and it's. Whew. Harvey called. She really? said Batman's gonna turn himself in. You honestly think that's gonna keep the Joker from killing people? Maybe not, but I have enough blood on my hands. Listen, I'm all for this, but you're still a dent, so maybe you should call that off first. Anything I could leave back to Lucius or Rachel? What would you have me do? Endure, Master Wayne. Today you get to say I told you so. Today I, I don't want to. What I did bloody tell you. <laughs> Should we give in to this terrorist demands? Do we really think We'd that he's gonna- rather protect an outlaw vigilante than the lives of citizens? The night is dark is just before the dawn. The dawn is coming. Take the Batman into custody. I am the Batman. I'm sorry, what? Why is he letting Harvey do this? Perhaps both Bruce and Mr. Dent believe that Batman stands for something more important. Even if everyone hates him for it. Even if you fucking hate him for it. Damn it, Rachel. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Letting Harvey take the fall for this is not heroic at all. Will you give this to him for me? When the time is right? Listen, I'm glad they're still not together. Get out of here. Good riddance. <laughs> she can't, she like wants it both ways. Like, what the fuck do you want? Convoy stuff for no reason. Oh, that's him. I hope you got some moves, pal. Heads I go through with it. You can't leave something like that to chance. I'm not. You make your own luck. Oh, so has it always been a double-headed coin? So even when he was like threatening to shoot that guy, it was always going to turn up heads. And when he said he wasn't leaving it up, got it. Got it. <laughs> Took me a minute, but we got there. Everybody else, pal. Oh my God. Why can't you just go on the other side of the road? I know it's technically the wrong direction, but the roads are closed. Just go on the other side. It's just a little whoop. Come on, get us out of here. Let's go. Okay, so that's not the Joker, but the driver is definitely in on it. Oh, shit. The hell was okay, that? cowboy. Where'd you learn how to drive like that? Slaughter. Oh, nice. These things are built for that, right? He's gonna need something a lot bigger to get through this. Oh, like that? What is that, a bazooka? <laughs> it's just a scratch. I'm sure it's fine. Goodbye. What? That's 
what I'm talking about. Air calf. Okay, rack them up. Rack them up, rack them up, rack them up. God, he thought of everything. He thought of everything. He's a freaking, like, brilliant. He's brilliant. That's not good. Yeah. You don't say. Oh, Ooh, you want to play? Come on. <laughs> oh, shit. Take the big job. Or Commissioner Gordon. I'm sorry, I couldn't risk yourself. I was gonna say, if you don't slap him, I will. <laughs> I don't feel good. Please step away from the bars. My insides hurt. I want to know what's going on with the guy who said his inside hurts, because you know there's more to it than that. You know. You know. Harvey didn't never mind. Of course not. Where is he? What's the time? What difference does that make? Well, depending on the time, he may be in one spot or several. The good cop, bad cop routine? Not exactly. Is it going to be the good cop, Batman cop routine? Oh! <laughs> I can knew it! We start with the head. The victim gets all fuzzy. He can't feel the next. Ow! Fuck! See? You let five people die. There's no going back. You've changed things. And why do you want to kill me? <laughs> I don't want to kill you. No. No, you. You complete. Me. When the chips are down, these, uh, these civilized people, they'll eat each other. I have one rule. Oh, then that's the rule you'll have to break to know the truth. And tonight, you're gonna break your one rule. I'm considering it. No, there's only minutes left. You're gonna have to play my little game if you want to save one of them. Killing is making a choice. Where are they? Don't worry. I'm gonna tell you where they are. Both of them. And that's the point. You'll have to choose which one you're going after. Rachel. Oh my god. <laughs> this is too stressful. I can't handle this. I can't handle this. How many of your friends have I killed? Don't fall for it, dude. Come on. I'm a 20 year man, and I know the difference between punks who need a little lesson in manners and the freaks like you who would just enjoy it. The boss said he'd make the voices go away. <laughs> Said he'd go inside and replace him with bright lights. <laughs> like Chris. Oh my god. Does he have a bomb in him? Ah! Harvey, what's happening? Would you like to know which of them were cowards? Dude! Definitely thought that phone call was gonna blow up Rachel or Dent. <laughs> I wanna tell you something, okay? Don't think like that, Rachel. They're coming for you. I know they are, but I don't want them to. I don't want to live without you, and I do have an answer for you. And my answer is yes. No! No, not me! Why are you coming for me? Okay. 
okay. Rachel! Harvey, it's okay. See you, the Joker's gone. Dear Bruce, I'm going to marry Harvey Dent. I'm sure the day won't come when you no longer need Batman. So let me get this straight. She like guilt tripped him and was like, You think turning yourself in is gonna make him stop killing people? And uh, I can't speak ill of the dead. She was gonna wait for me, Alfred. Dent doesn't know. He can never know. for me when I was at Internal Affairs. Sayer! Two-Face, Harvey Two-Face. Sage is a man of your blood. Oh, I am. I'm only burning my half. All you care about is money. It's about sending a message. Everything burns. I don't want Mr. Reese spoiling everything. If Coleman Reese isn't dead in 60 minutes, then I blow up a hospital. Mm -hmm. Ma'am, we're gonna have to move him now. It's Berg, isn't it? Commissioner. You okay, son? I'm sorry, you didn't know it was him before he took the mask off. <laughs> the pain is making him loopy. Introduce a little anarchy. I'm an agent of chaos. Oh, and you know the thing about chaos? It's fear. You live, you die. <laughs> It's a very brave thing you did. You're trying to catch the light? <laughs> that walk. <laughs> the little jump when it actually went off like he wasn't expecting it was great. Did you clear the building? Wait, did Harvey get out though? Come nightfall, the city is mine. But the bridge and tunnel crowd are sure in for a surprise. What the hell is that? Jesus. I, I thought he was dead. Half. Ah, that would hurt so bad. That's funny. Reminds me of the mummy. You took my sonar concept and applied it to every oh phone in the God. city. But this is wrong. Only you can use it. Spying on 30 million people isn't part of my job description. I freaking love him. I'll help you this one time, but consider this my resignation. As long as this machine is at Wayne Enterprises, I won't be. Plus, I want to use the ferry so I can get some of those prisoners off the island. Those aren't people I'm worried about. You should be. Would that be the plan, though? Like, act like the bridges are bombed so that people are moved on the ferries so that you can sink the ferries and the bridges are actually fine, but they're closed off. It's probably easier to sink a ferry than it is to like blow all the bridges and shit. I'm going to join your wife. Who picked up Rachel? Must have been someone she trusted. It was Ramirez. You're a lucky man. He's not. Oh shit. Oh. Oh my god. Captain, I got a hundred barrels down there rigged to blow in this. Why are you opening it? Why are you opening it? like some kind of detonator. Tonight, you're all gonna be a part of a social experiment. Each of you has a remote. 
blow up the other boat. Guys, I can't. This is gonna freaking give me an ulcer. And you might want to decide quickly because the people on the other boat may not be quite so noble. Hello, Barbara. It's Anna Ramirez. Jim needs you to pack up and put the kids in the car right away. Where, where am I supposed to take them? 250 52nd Street. Leave as soon as the patrol car pulls out. Dude, I fucking knew she looked. <sighs> we have clear shots on five clowns. Snipers take them out, smash the windows, a team repels in. Team moves in by the stairwells. Two, three casualties max. I need five minutes alone. No! There's no time! Hello? Jim, we're in trouble. He has the kids! Hello, Jim. So thrilled. Where's the detonator? What is that a brand of? You don't want to die, but you don't know how to take a life. No one wants to get their hands dirty. Fine. I'll do it. Yeah. All the old familiar places. <laughs> That's cool how they kind of had like the bat screeching noise right as he was about to get attacked. Give it to me, and I'll do what you should have did ten minutes ago. Oh my god. Oh my god, I fucking love this movie. <laughs> Stop, 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 stop. Don't do it. <sighs> what were you trying to prove? That deep down, everyone's as ugly as you. Speaking of which, you know how I got these scars? No. But I know how you got these. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you just couldn't let me go, could you? You truly are incorruptible, aren't you? I think you and I are destined to do this forever. This city just showed you that it's full of people ready to believe in good. Until they get a good look at the real Harvey Dent. You didn't think I'd risk losing the battle for Gotham's soul in a fist fight with you. I took Gotham's white knight and I brought him down to our level. <laughs> You're not going to hurt my family. No. Just the person you love most. I'm sorry! For everything! You don't want to hurt the boy, Harvey. It's not about what I want. It's about what's fair! The world is cruel. And the only morality in a cruel world is chance. His son's got the same chance she had. 50-50. The Joker chose me because you were the best of us. Disappointed at the people responsible. Fair enough. You first. Thank you. You don't have to thank me. 
Yes, I do. They must never know what he did. Five dead? You can't speak that. Oh, God it needs its true hero. You either die a hero, or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. I killed those people. That's what I can be, whatever God needs me to be. A hero. Nothing less than a knight. I can see I can see why that movie is so highly regarded holy sh I don't even know where to start I don't even know where to start I don't know if I have too many thoughts or not any thoughts I can't tell my brain is like that was so fucking good <laughs> it was so good um sorry you can hear my footstool under there Heath Ledger holy shit I've never seen a Heath Ledger movie. I know that he was always like a heartthrob and he's been in some like really, really beloved films. Um, and I think this was much different for him. I could totally be wrong. But I think this role was a much different role than what he typically was in. I guess my impression of him was always that he was like the, you know, the pretty boy heartthrob in movies. Maybe that's way wrong, but holy shit his like everything about the way he portrayed this character was so well done his mannerisms obviously like his vocal acting but just like the little ticks that he had like the constant with the lip licking and he even did like little mannerisms with his hands like there was i don't even remember what scene it was in but there was a scene i remember he had his jacket on and he he almost did like this little like i i don't even know how huh, the physical acting was just superb he did such a good job of showing like i want to i feel weird throwing this term out there because i don't have a psychology degree so i don't know what it is but I, for lack of a better word like psychosis he does such a great job of showing that but at the same time more in this than in any other like joker version i've seen you can see like the brilliance there too like Obviously, guy was a nut, okay? He had issues, but he was freaking brilliant. Every single thing that he did, he had planned perfectly. Like, multiple layers that you didn't see until he was ready for you to see them. Now, obviously, it didn't fully work out at the end. But he had plans for plans for plans. It, oh, my God. It was just so well. And obviously, like, okay, his acting was phenomenal, but everybody's acting was phenomenal. Even Gordon's son, the kid who plays Gordon's son. Like, I know that there's a lot of really talented kid actors, and I'm not saying, like, he was the best of the best, but the way he was acting when Dent had him, he even he did such a great job. Everyone is freaking brilliant. Um, and I don't know the actor who plays Dent. I recognize him, but I don't know his name. Um, I know I said it a couple times in the movie. I don't know if it will make the final cut or not, but... He did such a great job of, again, showing, like, like through his acting, through his eyes, it was, like, borderline crazy the entire time. Like, you could tell he was he was walking that tightrope, and you didn't know which way he was going to fall the entire He did such a great job with that. And it was really interesting seeing this take on Two-Face because the, the last take on Two-Face that I was exposed to was the animated series, um... And in that, he always had, I think it was, uh, this is probably wrong, but I want to say like schizophrenia or something, like heard voices, or maybe it was multiple personalities. I know those are different. I don't remember which it was, but either way, he kind of had that before. And then the injury really is kind of what brought that out. Um, like the two-face, he always kind of had that buried within him. I almost feel like with this movie, they kind of did that too. Like obviously... 
he we don't know if he had like a diagnosis or anything like that in this but the way that he was like the goody goody guy but he was also just like there would be these moments where he would say things or he would act in certain ways where you're like ooh like there's something more to him there there's deeper darkerness in there and I thought that was just so brilliantly done the way that that actor portrayed that the way it was written too obviously but all of these characters were so complex. It was just so good. It was so good. Um, and now I now I don't know what else I wanted to say. I had a million, like I said, I had a million thoughts in the movie of being like, oh, I want to remember to talk about that. I want to remember to talk about that. It was weird having Rachel be a different actress. That was a choice. I'm sure there's, obviously there's a reason why it, it wasn't, um, shit, now I forget her name. Whatever. Obviously, there's a different why. It was a, a reason why it was a different actress, but um, that was weird. <laughs> I was glad at the beginning that they kept reinforcing, like, this is Rachel. They kept using her name with her. They're like, this is Rachel. This is Rachel. <laughs> this is Rachel. Um, obviously, not the first time that has happened, but um, it's definitely, every time it happens, you're like, wait, what? <laughs> Takes you back a little bit. Um, oh, God. I don't even know what else I want to say. Um, the hospital scene was really funny. I freaking <laughs> I bring a love out. He pushes the, like he pushes the button. The hospital starts exploding. He gets out there and he was like expecting a bigger boom that didn't happen. So he like turns around. And he's like mashing the button like what the heck? And then it booms and he like jump. Oh my god, that was so good. <laughs> that was really good. Um, oh my god, what else? I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Okay, the the uh, shit. What was the line now? And I brought it up in the movie, too. See, this is why I take notes, because when I don't, this is my brain right now. Um, oh, with the Joker, I mentioned in the, like, when I was actually watching how he clearly doesn't like when people don't take him seriously. So, like, when he was with the, like, early on with the mob, and he's like, I'm not, I'm not, and he, like, really emphasized it, it, like, made him sound more crazy but also, like, he's like, I'm not crazy. Don't call me that. Like, I'm not crazy. But also to the, to us, it's like, okay, you're crazy. But he didn't like when someone called him crazy. He didn't like the, like, the belittling nature of that and the, the way that that was almost used to, like, not take him seriously. And then later on, freaking Brian. <laughs> when Brian, <laughs> when Brian gets taken um, hostage... And he's, like, not making eye contact. And I think it's, look at me or something. like I don't know. Maybe that's not the exact line either. But when he's, like, look at me and Brian's still not looking at him. And then he just, look at me. Like, the yell, the deep, guttural, like, pure rage. Again, just shows you he doesn't like when people aren't, like, respecting him. When he doesn't have that, like, respect to him. I just, that was, oh, again, he's just such a freaking, that was, oh, so good. <laughs> I can see why people are like, this is the best Batman film. I I understand it completely. I, oh my God, that was so good. That was so good. And also the little subtle things, like at the very beginning with um, Scarecrow, when he knows right away that it's not bats because it's the vigilantes, they have the, the guns, right? The goon squad with the guns. And he just knows it's not Batman because again, tying into that like whole, Batman doesn't kill people. No, I think that's up for, up for debate <laughs> He might not directly kill people, but he has led to many a death, okay? You can't tell me otherwise. Um, and how that later played into, so they, like, reinforced that at the beginning, but then that played in later with the whole, like, I'm not going to kill the Joker. Like, I want to. I want to. But I'm not going to kill him. I'm not going to do it. Um, oh, this is the one thing that I wanted to say with the um, the ships, the fairies. They... That scene, I obviously was getting a little emotional there, and I think the reason why, because obviously it was stress. I'm a stress crier, okay? I'm a stress crier, so that was definitely playing into it. But also, the fact that they were able to show that good people will do bad things, and that bad people are still capable of doing good things. That was just brilliant. That was brilliantly done. That was, oh, that was so good. And I was so stressed out. And then they're showing that. And then you cut to the Joker who's like making his point about how everybody has like darkness in them, right? It was just, oh, 
again, going back to Nolan being brilliant. I keep using that word for this movie, but I never expected, like, now this is probably on me. But, you know, when you think like a superhero movie, you don't necessarily think like brilliant writing. Like, some of them do. There are multiple examples of superhero movies just being super deep and having brilliance to them. I'm just going to keep using that word because I don't know what else to use. But typically when you think of a superhero movie, that's not what you're watching it for, right? But the way that he, he has just a knack for knowing when to cut a scene, to make it jump to another scene, to cut back to another, he just, he, it's such a freaking like genius at building that suspense and like showcasing his story with multiple scenes happening at one time. Like you get a little piece here, you get a little piece there, like the whole, like good people have badness and then bad people have goodness and whatever. Um, the way he showed that wasn't by being like Joker being like, oh, everybody's got darkness in them. Like obviously there was some sort of talking about that, but then he cut to the one ship, then he took to the other ship, then he cut to the, and it was all through that that he was able to portray it. It was just so, oh, Nolan is a great director. That's all I'm trying to say. <laughs> And again, I feel like this is just all over the place and probably not very coherent. And I'm probably going to be cringing so hard when I edit this. But I also just love the maniacal rantings of my brain at the end where I can just like word vomit it all out. And hopefully you guys can understand what I'm trying to say um, and probably say it more eloquently than I can in the comments. <laughs> but this was just really top tier, top tier. I get I get it. I understand why this is everybody's favorite. Well, not everybody, but most people's favorite. This was really freaking good. And I'm super excited to watch the next one because I feel like, and again, correct me if I'm wrong, I feel like the next one, The Dark Knight Rises, maybe. Um, I feel like that one is a little bit more controversial, like a little bit more debate, rather, of whether or not people love it. It seems like this one is the one, hands down, everybody loves. The next one, you have a lot of people who love it, a lot of people who are like, ugh, that was disappointing after this one. So I'm really excited to watch that to see um, my opinion on it. It's not hard to impress me, though. Oops, sorry. With movies, I'm not going to lie. So I'm probably going to enjoy it. <laughs> but I will be really curious to see how I feel about it in comparison to this, um, especially since there is, at least my understanding, a little bit of debate there. So... The next reaction will be in, I'm doing these every other Wednesday. I don't have the specific date off the top of my head, but let me look. Hold on. Don't go anywhere. I'm looking right now. Um, so this will be posted on the 21st. So this will be March 6th will be the next reaction. Um, and it's going to be a, a different Nolan film. And then two weeks after that will be the final uh, Batman Dark Knight Rises, I think. So I'll post those dates again for you um, in a pinned comment like I always do. But let me know your thoughts on this movie in the comments below. Please point out all of the cool things that I've missed. I love, love, love when I get to read through the comments and you're like, oh, this is really cool little factoid that you should know. This is I just freaking love that. So please tell me all the cool factoids that I'm missing. Um, and yeah, just your thoughts on the film, the overall film in general. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate your support on this channel and your support on all of these videos. So thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> it really means the world to me. Please make sure you subscribe. Hit that bell button when you do so that you know how to post my next movie reaction, which will be a Nolan film, but not the next Batman film. Um, I, It's either going to be Prestige or Memento. I'm not sure which one yet. Um, and yeah, thank you so much. Subscribe, hit that bell button, and I'll see you in a couple weeks.